Over the past week, Ukrainian armed forces have redeployed 277 battle tanks and heavy artillery pieces to the contact line with Donbass. Eduard Bazurin, spokesman for the DPR Defense Ministry, reported on Monday. The Ukrainian military hardware is located at the separation line in the areas of the cities of Kholovka, Mariupol and Donetsk. Also, 147 infantry fighting vehicles and armoured personnel carriers, 26 vehicles with ammunition and more than 660 troops are stationed there. Mawafak al-Rubayi, a leader of the State of Law Coalition Party in the Iraqi parliament and former national security adviser, says his request that the United States target ISIS trucks that carry Iraqi and Syrian oil out of the countries for sale has failed to bear any result as Washington considers them civilian targets. I have personally contacted U.S. representatives asking them to target ISIL trucks transporting Iraqi and Syrian oil to Turkey, only to be told that those were civilian targets so they could not attack them, said Rubai. According to him, the militant group had made over $800 million in black market oil sales in Turkey over the last eight months. Republicans John McCain and Lindsey Graham criticized President Barack Obama's incremental Islamic State strategy, which relies on airstrikes and modest support to local ground forces in Iraq and Syria, and said the need for greater U.S. involvement was underlined by this month's Paris attacks. McCain, chairman of the Senate Armed Services Committee, recently proposed intervention in Syria by a European and Arab ground force backed by 10,000 U.S. military advisors and trainers. Whether Syria wants thousands of U.S. soldiers to operate within its borders is, of course, entirely irrelevant to him. The United Arab Emirates, UAE, has announced its readiness to commit ground troops to the fight against terrorist groups operating in Syria, the Emirati State Minister for Foreign Affairs Anwar Gargash stated on Monday. We remember, in the UAE's first official reaction to Russia's ongoing aerial campaign against terrorists in Syria, Gagash said Moscow was targeting a common enemy by striking ISIS and Al-Qaeda-affiliated militants.